The World Telecommunications Indicator Symposium is one of the ITU's flagship events. Uh, it is highly awaited by the international community. At this event, uh, we decided to make a change a little bit to give it uh, a rebirth, if you want to call it. We launched the Measuring Information Society report for the first time, and we also released the ICT uh, Development Index, which we call IDI, which ranks countries. And for the first time, I would like to say that we had the Prime Minister opening the event, and his deputy uh, was also present, the cabinet, and uh, about eight foreign ministers, uh, not foreign ministers as in their status, but uh, uh, ministers coming from abroad and deputy ministers. We also had director generals of national statistical offices, uh, director generals of telecommunication regulatory authorities, and many delegates from across the world. So it has been a very special experience here. I think since I mentioned the Measuring Information Society report, IDI, I think uh, my colleague Susan Telcher, who is the head of division for our statistics and indicators, would be happy to share some insights on that. Yes, uh, indeed, uh, this was a special occasion this year uh, to launch the Measuring the Information Society at this uh, event. Uh, which also gives the um, audience, who are mostly the, uh, our counterparts in countries who actually provide us with the data, an opportunity to see uh, how the data are being used, how they are analyzed, and how they can be used for policy making. And by bringing in the policy makers uh, as well to this event, it was a, a great merge of uh, data production and data analysis for policy making. So this year's report um, has a few uh, highlights. Uh, maybe I can start to mention a few. Um, we already heard about the ICT Development Index, uh, which is our uh, main feature of the report, uh, where we assess progress in countries in terms of ICT development every year, and then we rank them, and we uh, show um, how countries have uh, achieved uh, higher levels of ICT development over the year. So uh, this is one of the main features. We have had a special uh, ceremony on this uh, at the occasion of the event. Then we have uh, a few other features uh, in the report, if I may continue. Um, one is um, we are assessing uh, progress uh, in terms of ICT development and provide um, quite a large number of data and indicators, the most recent that we, uh, that we get from, from our countries. So uh, what we have seen over the past year is that uh, wireless broadband is driving the growth in developing countries. There are a number of developing countries who have made uh, a lot of progress on the ICT development index, and that was uh, primarily due to their um, launch of wireless broadband services and the association associated very high uptake in those countries. But also, I think uh, one of the key highlights has to do with big data. Yes. We are going through a revolution. And uh, what we have noticed is that uh, many of the private sector entities are taking advantage of the big data revolution. But also, of course, most importantly, the UN family and ITU would like to be in the forefront of that. And uh, we think we will do. We are experiencing a revolution where we have volumes of data that is flowing uh, across the globe, but uh, in economics one would say we have to internalize externalities. So we can benefit from that. We can use it to carry out analysis. People who are involved in marketing, of course, they can uh, make decisions based on that. But uh, I would say the volume alone is massive. Uh, the value of that data is great. And we also, of course, look at the velocity of the data because it moves in very high speeds. But uh, most importantly, it has some substance in the sense that there is some veracity uh, contained in it. So you can take uh, based on correlation. You can make a lot of decisions. And in fact, I would say that uh, right now, we are working on big data to make decisions on the Ebola case, particularly in West Africa and across the globe because that can inform us on uh, the transmissions of the disease. But for investors also, it is quite critical. And I think there are other elements to and the report as well, yes. Yes, and also just to complement perhaps, so we have a major feature in the report uh, looking <coughs> at big data sources, especially from the ICT industry, which by itself is a major provider of uh, big data. 
And since we are trying to measure the information society, and there are um, challenges in countries in terms of uh, regularly collecting data and uh, providing data on uh, ICT, big data sources from the ICT industry um, can uh, complement uh, the missing data that we are currently facing, uh, or can, we can use them to produce new policy-relevant uh, indicators. So we are in discussion uh, with uh, some of the data providers from the private industry. They are also attending the meeting here to see how we can jointly move forward in terms of uh, doing some concrete work on, on big data for measuring the information society. We come from the projects and knowledge management department. And our primary role in ITU is to make sure that we negotiate, formulate, and implement projects across the globe. And this touch on infrastructure, human capacity building, and many other interesting areas. And the idea is we have to go beyond the figures, the indicators, and the statistics, and put a human face to that. So what we did was to make sure that we incorporated in the report some uh, stories that touch uh, on human life. And uh, the timing is great because we are just um, on the 11th hour of the Millennium Development Goals. We also, as you are aware, in 2003-2005, we had uh, the two phases of the World Information Society. And we are now entering a phase of review to see whether we achieved that which we had set ourselves to achieve. And then we will just jump into the uh, Sustainable Development Goals era. So we touched on many areas and uh, we, we, we know for sure that the penetration levels, as uh, Susan has said, have grown very high, particularly for so cellular mobile and uh, cellular mobile broadband. Mobile broadband and uh, across the globe, I think we've witnessed in terms of internet penetration and so forth, a real growth. And you may be aware that even when the market is going through a financial crisis, the sector that is resilient or most resilient is that of uh, information and communication technologies. Mm -hmm. So we are busy uh, making sure that we impact every facet of human life. And coming back to the MDGs, the Millennium Development Goals, that's also actually a special feature of this year's report because we have done some analysis to compare the progress in ICT development with the progress on uh, the uh, MDG um, goals and indicators. And we found some very interesting uh, correlations in terms of um, countries making progress in ICT, but also on certain development goals, especially those to poverty uh, reduction and uh, health and uh, some others. So we are really trying to see how uh, the data and the numbers can also tell us more about progress in other development areas. Uh.